Hello everyone, News 8 Meteorologist Leanne Beyer here, and today we're here to talk about how exactly hail forms. So it has been an absolute crazy summer here in Rochester, and it even in western New York, and even New York State. I mean, countless tornado surveys, severe thunderstorms, hail formations, I mean, all of this stuff that has happened, flooding, I mean, it has been an absolutely crazy summer, but... I got a question from a viewer about how exactly hail forms, and usually it happens within thunderstorms when it's warm out. So their big com question was, so how does it form so when it's falling, it doesn't melt? So let's talk about it a little bit. So we're going inside a thunderstorm, and for thunderstorms to essentially, I guess we could say develop, you need big updrafts. And so what essentially happens during these updrafts is frozen water droplets are swept up by this. So it's going back up into the cloud where we're going to start to see some frozen water. So additional layers of ice form each time it's swept back up. So as it's going back up this updraft, it's kind of almost like bouncing. So it falls a little bit and then it comes back up. The best way to think about it is if you took a ping pong ball and you took a hair dryer and you turned on the hair dryer and you hold it up so the warm air is blowing out and blowing up and it kind of levitates the ping pong ball but you see how it drops and goes back up you can see the little formation in the actual graphic as it goes back up and back down so updrafts and then eventually the weight from the hailstone actually exceeds the force of the updraft and that's when we fall and that's when they start to fall. So thunderstorms that have stronger updrafts allow for these hailstones to continue to keep on growing but those that don't have the strongest of updrafts may result in really tiny sized hail. But let's talk about different hail sizes. So here in Rochester we've kind of had a crazy 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 summer and we've had some report of hailstones and I think the largest we had over the summer was right around 2 inches maybe 2.5 inches so you can see here so the pea size is maybe a quarter of an inch marble a half of inch and so on the largest is a grapefruit at 4.5 inches and I think the largest hailstone ever recorded in the United States was over in South Dakota in 2010 and it was about 8 inches which is crazy so severe levels usually range from an inch and higher so sometimes thunderstorms with updrafts can produce tiny tiny hail that's less than a quarter of an inch but overall usually the severe thunderstorms will produce inch that's one that will produce hail excuse me one inch or greater and then we'll talk about the common so again it's kind of with that less than an inch range is common and they, some of them fall into the uncommon rare very rare and then exceptionally rare is the very very large ones we haven't had too much to worry about. I think we may fall in that rare slash very rare category for this summer, but we have not fallen into that exceptionally rare. That's the kind of hailstones that you see down in Texas and Oklahoma from those severe storms. So I hope you learned something new today. And as always, if you have a question, feel free to email me or reach out to me on social media. I love answering everyone's questions and I hope to see you guys real soon.